Hey, welcome back, Bob the Vaping Computer Guy. Today we're going to take a look at the Fountain V2 Squonker. Okay, so we have the Fountain V2 Authentic Squonker. Let's look up close at it, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it, and I'll explain what it is. Okay, so this is the Fountain V2. Um, I've heard this one called a clone, although it says authentic uh, on the Gear Best site um, where I got it. But this is a squonker or a squonking tank. Um, let's take a look at it and I'll show you what that means. Open this end. Screwdriver, some screws, and some O-rings. An extra piece of Pyrex. And here's your tank. Now, as you can see through the glass here, looks like a standard four-post um, uh, dripper that you can build there in RDA. But here's what's different. This is a plastic bottle. Okay. And what you do is once you build your coils in there, you fill this with juice. When you want to vape, when you want to rejuice, all you do is push that a little bit and you will inject juice up into your coils and your cotton and your wick. So the top cap here, this is one piece. You can't change this. Um, you have to use the drip tip. Okay, that's solid together. You have air holes in here. Your airflow is actually going to go um, in here, down, and then back up through the center hole. Okay, so down through those holes, goes in through the side, down through the holes, into your tank, and then back up. I don't know how that's going to affect um, taste and performance, since normally when dripping your coil, you'd either be getting your airflow from underneath or from the side, but we'll find out. This will also control your airflow. That just pops off actually, it's not even screwed on. Get you a better uh, view there. Right. So, four post design, it's not the highest quality. Um, but again, this is like a you know, cheap clone. Or again, it says authentic, but I don't know. If it's authentic, it's uh, a low end authentic. I know, I gotta do better with lighting here. Alright, so you build on there, and there's your bottle. Uh, you fill that up, probably holds, I don't know, I guess it's probably about four milliliters. A little tube down in there. And when you squeeze, the divorcing juice up through there, that's where the juice comes out in here somewhere, it's probably right in the center there, it's a little hard to see, you'll see when it's actually, uh, when we're actually doing it. Alright, that just fits into there. It's a good tight fit on here, of course it's not juiced up or anything, but and that just press fits together. Not a whole lot more to show you on that. Um, so I'm going to build on this, wick it up, use it for a while, and we'll come back and talk about it. Nice little logo there if you're interested in a little wolf. adjustable. And it's not holding a post in, it's obviously just in the bottom there, so there you go.
the Fountain V2. Okay, so this is the first squonker I've used. Squonk, squonker, I'm not sure how they uh, really like to call these things. Um, it's interesting. A lot of times I've seen them before uh, where it's built into your mod, built into the box, and they call it a squonk box. Uh, well, this is the actual just, uh, you know, an RBA um, with it built in, which is nice because then you can use it on any mod. Um, and to go over, like you saw in the up close, basically it's a dripper. All right, standard, show you, you know, standard coils built in there and wicked up. All right, um, except that you do have your juice in there, and when you need more juice, all you need to do is push it, and there's your juice. Of course, I'm flooding a little bit there because I've been recording the video. So um, best thing to do to get rid of that juice is vape on it. Yeah, so uh, there's a little bit of specs on this. Um, this is called the original Fountain V2. Um, it's saying it's authentic, but who knows? It's from GearBest.com. Um, it's 20 millimeters by 65 millimeters in height. Um, flavor's pretty good on it. Nothing spectacular, but it's not bad. It's certainly certainly nice to vape on. Um, Vapor production is kind of low. You're not getting a lot on it, and that's basically uh, because of the airflow on the coils. Um, your airflow is going in here, down, hopefully hitting your coils, and then around and back up. So the air is not going straight in onto your coils, so it's not going to produce a tremendous amount of vapor. Um, but the other conveniences of basically having a dripper that you don't have to drip on, and you always have your fluid with you, um, you know, I think kind of outweigh it. Uh, you're certainly not going to use this in a cloud competition. Uh, not that I do them anyway, but taste is okay, and the other benefits of it make up for it. Um, I have had zero leaking with this, because um, you find there's no reason to open it up. Um, I've had zero spit back. Can't change the drip, drip tip. It's their standard drip tip, which is built into, um, uh, you know, the actual whole top here you know so that's built into that plastic and obviously that's only going to be that's going to be a custom type thing going in here so you can't really change that all right as soon as I can get it back on the right position I can vape on it again there we go a little bit of juice on me okay um so drip tip is built in price fifteen dollars and seventy seven cents on gear best um Obviously, uh, you know, it'll take you three weeks to get it from Gear Best if you're in the United States. Uh, but for that price, uh, you can't beat it. I'll put a link below to that. So the pros are: it's a dripper without dripping. It's convenient. It's easy to use. Um, the cons: the posts and the screws are very low quality. The rest of it is okay. Um, but trying to get what I use in here, 20, 20, uh, 24 gauge. 24 gauge is a little thick. If you use uh, some you know 26 gauge wire you probably wouldn't have any problems but 24 gauge I had a hard time getting the screws to hold that down uh, the threads aren't that good uh, and they start trying to come back out um, so you got to keep retightening it down every once in a while so use 26 um, gauge wire in there or 28 gauge uh, 24 is a little thick I think for it so the quality of the build of the posts is pretty poor um, but again it's what I would expect for a 15 16 dollar uh, item like this um, so I can't complain too much, um, but it works. Uh, you know, I was able to use it. I wouldn't put 24 gauge in there again. But overall, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a it's a nice little cheap squonker, and um, nice little you know, like a little uh, little logo on there. All right, um, it works. It does its job. It's nice. It's convenient. You got a dripper that you can bring with you, and you can actually uh, say I drip and drive. You know, without dripping. It's the juice up, but same thing. Anyway, subscribe below and thanks for watching.